Hey guys, I'm Titan, and welcome back to Condemned 2 Bloodshot. Now, I do like this chapter quite a lot. Oh, uh oh, not good, not good, not good. Because we, of course, have to defeat our alcohol demon, which is rather easy with the skills that we have acquired. Hey, pal. We're just going to give him one of those in the back. And punch him in the arse. It really is that simple. He's actually quite a hard fight. Ethan, wake up. It's okay. You were having. Uh, nightmare. yes. <sighs> Damn. My head is. I think it was a little bit more than a nightmare. You're exhausted. We both are. Well, at least Rosa made it here unscathed. Like I was saying, SKX is out of the picture. Dorland and the Oro are our main mm. concern. This may end up being a wild goose chase, but if we're right. The magic man can help us. Hmm. Can he indeed? Well, we have just defeated our liquor demon, so why not celebrate? Uh, I, I, I said, damn it! I guess our uh, our dedication is too strong at the moment. Anyway, let's leave her there tapping away at her computer, and we shall go explore. Because that seems like a reasonable thing to do. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Who's that gentleman in the middle there? Hmm. The House of Illusion. The bizarre and unexplainable. Oh, this is exciting. The magic man. Excellent. The Who's of Illusion. Excellent. Oh, I will. Anything else to say, buddy? Nope. He's gone quiet. Hmm. Relaxing carnival music. Just what we wanted. Now, <clears throat> this always brings me back. Uh, to my juggalo days, way back in college, way back when. Oh, looks like she has uh, encountered a very unfortunate end. Hmm. Now, one thing that is very strange about these, if you get close to them, and without actually moving the uh, the look stick, or the right stick, I should say, you actually automatically fixate on them, which is really odd. And uh, bizarre, but hey ho. So, what have we got to find? We've got one emitter, which we can already hear. Uh, we've got one antenna and two responses. That's doable, I reckon. Yeah, I'm not going to feel too sorry for these ladies. That may seem cold of me, but uh, well. Expect the unexpected. regarding the Oro and came up with very little. What's odd is that there's no mention of the organization in any government database. Mm -hmm. However, I managed to locate a few fan sites <laughs> on the internet. From what I can gather, the name Oro is short for Oro Invictus, which means invincible voice. Latin. It appears they've been around for more than 3,000 years. Pretty remarkable, if true. But we must consider the source. Hmm... See anything about the Oro's purpose? Their objective. What's the origin name? What's the origin of the name Oro Invictus? I mean, is that even relevant, honestly? Were humans even around 2,000 years ago? <sighs> we can make him sound like a right dunce here. Or maybe is that a subtle little hint that he's religious? Hmm. I'm not sure. Um... See anything about the Oro's purpose, their objective? That seems the most relevant right now. You see anything about the Oro's purpose, their objective? No specifics, but I get the impression that the Oro's primary goal is to manipulate, possibly to change the natural course of human evolution. Hmm. Intriguing. However, the information is too sketchy to Ooh, establish. I should have my economy. timer going, shouldn't I? Probably will be a good idea. However, this is a fairly short level. So, we don't really need it. Oh, hello. 
Let's give it one of them. There we go. Well, there goes our uh, psychic emitter thing. Let's have a tug on the old switch and see what happens. Ooh. Well, that set something in motion. Hopefully something good. All right, let's get out of here. This is uh, certainly makes me think of the halls of illusion. Anyway, you know what? Like, I know a lot of people don't like ICP and stuff, and it's very um, it's cool to hate ICP. Um, but I actually still like a lot of their older stuff. A lot of their Joker's cards. Hello, ladies, or well, lady. Sorry to have to do this to you, my dear. I know, I know, I'm terrible, but. I cannot have you beating my ass when I'm not looking. You have to understand. It's okay. Let's go for a little walk. I know you've been through a hell of a lot. Oh, God. Well, she's gone. You getting up, my dear? Of course you are. Hello. Zap. Lady fall down. Funny. Yeah, I still like ICP. Um, as I say, their older stuff. Uh, a lot of the newer stuff, I haven't actually listened to it, to be honest, but... Ooh. Have some table. Whoa! She kind of spasmed there a little bit. Probably a process of her, her spine doing very unnatural things. You gonna get up? Nah, you're fine. You just carry on having your sleep. Whoa. Oh, yes, they are gonna get up. Zap. Oot. Ouch. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, no. You know what? No more playing. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Have a broken arm. And a broken face. And I'm going to put my foot up your ass. And now I'm going to do bad things with you. Really bad things. Over you go. There we go. She had it harsh. Never mind. Thomas is all out of fucks to give. He's a man on a mission. Ah, uh, we don't want a plank. We are quite happy wielding the equipment we have. Let's have a tug on that. Oh, yes. Almost forgot about you. Mm. Hey now. Our reason for reporting him? He is now SCU's number one most wanted. If you see him, report it immediately to the authorities. Help us recapture our city from the brink of destruction upon which it teeters. This is it. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like we're now public enemy number uno. That's not that great. To be Ooh, hello. That's not that good, to be honest. Um, me thinks we're being stitched up. Either that or we're hallucinating badly and uh, we think we're doing the right thing when the truth is uh, a little bit different. Uh, I think that's all we have to do up here. Let's go down. Oh yes, we can now go see this gentleman down here. Hey there buddy, you having a good time? You look like you're having a good time. Pay the ticket master. Uh, go there, pal. I'm afraid this is only gonna hurt a lot. There's one. I'm sorry. You know, I'm not really that sorry. You're probably a dick, like all the others. And shit's about to get weird. Oh, God. Horrible slime monsters. Ouch. My face. And my back. I need my back. Ah, it keeps me standing straight. Um, oh god. There's always more of these things. Oh. Oh, I think we're good. You still alive in there, buddy? Ethan. You did a... Oh, we've lost sound effects. For some reason. I think we did a half-assed job of him. Ethan. Yeah. And again, with the weird, uh, yeah, we can circle around that. 
and Ethan stays locked on. How strange. How strange. Well, let's keep going. Hey, I've updated your kit with more info. Check it out. Before leaving the SCU, I managed to grab the disc Dorland's agents found on SKX. It's some sort of journal he was mm. keeping. Most of it's meaningless babble, but listen to this. And my cat's the back. The root of the Oral's plan no revolves glow. around a tradition called Sonic Generation. It's the ability to produce complex sounds that project out from not just the mouth, but the entire Interesting. body. Interesting. People subjected to these sound waves experience acute bouts of paranoia. This is followed by hallucinatory episodes that slip quickly into psychosis and other forms of uncontrolled violent behavior. Mm. It goes on to say, people with natural tendencies to be violent become even more so when exposed to these sound <coughs> missions. Ethan, the implications of this are huge. You saw your webcam out. It's very blurry. Um, do your experts know what causes people to become violent? Uh, why is that relevant? Are you suggesting this organization is responsible for all that's wrong in the city? Hmm. When do you think SKX made this entry? Eh, I don't, that's not important. We obviously want to know what Rose's anger is. Are you suggesting this organization is responsible for all that's wrong? Rose is a pretty smart person. Maybe not all. It's probably just the rambles of a man who's psychotic mm -hmm. himself. But something about it rings true, though. Imagine if all of man's atrocities, war, murder, acts of cruelty, the very origins of crime itself can be explained and linked to this group. I'll admit it's pretty far-fetched, but a tantalizing theory nonetheless. Even if it's only half true... That is quite an interesting theory. Um, maybe not going through history or going back through history. They're probably not involved with everything. But they're certainly uh, involved in what's going on here. That's for sure. How do you spell Oro? I'm almost tempted to see what happens if we push that, but that's retarded. Does Dolan know you have this disc? Not that important. Does he describe how sonic generation works? Hmm. Interesting. Does he describe how sonic generation Sonic generations? He does. Uh. It's a little sci-fi, but here's what he wrote. Their ability to create sonic tones is due in part to an enlarged hollow sternum and a higher than normal mm. bone density. Unique vocal cords can create when trained complex sounds that reverberate through the sternum and chest cavity like a finely tuned So that's instrument. why we're so important. Now get this. Various metal apparatuses surgically implanted into the bone and skin can amplify the effect. Wow, pretty interesting stuff. Yeah, I'll say so. Our next performance is a real crowd pleaser. Yes, come buy some horrible readings. Hmm. The unbelievable. So, all members of the Oro seem to have this metal stuff I don't know if we've had that metal stuff implanted I'm going to assume as um, as we left the organization as a young kid they wouldn't have implanted metal into our body because obviously as we would have grown the metal wouldn't actually grow with it but everyone else hmm intriguing that's just my theory at this point though Hello. Like a bird, you are drawn to me, and like a bird, you find retreat. Fuck off. I'm not here to play your fucked up games, Magic Man. No. No, not like a bird. Not like those other helpless people lining the bowels yeah, of the sea. Oh hell. Enough babbling. Come out so I can see you. You're not so easily influenced. That much is obvious. That. That would be so ordinary. Indeed. But we're anything but ordinary. I like to think so. Whether it's true or not is not for me to say. But I like to think we're a little bit uh, extra, should we say? Well, that's some fancy rig you've got there, my friend. Hmm. I think we've got everything now. Yeah, we've got everything. Okay. Let's wander into his trap. 
I mean, obviously not a trap. Let's grab us a look at Oh! Oh! Hello! Sorry, love. I didn't see you there. Uh, this is gonna hurt you. Oh, God. Actually, I wonder... Can we zap her? Ooh. Right. Why is she on fire? Well, she seems to be enjoying being on fire. Hey, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Oh dear. All this machinery is uh, kicking up. Give me some pills. And a bottle. Ooh. Hey, birdie. Gee, are you really standing? Next to... Okay, that's not good. Are you really standing on a platform made of incredibly... Well, surrounded by fire, with all this incredibly flammable liquid around? That doesn't seem very smart now, does it? Hello. I don't... Oh, you bastard. You managed to get that off before I could chuck. There you go. Catch. Don't say I don't give you nothing. Yes, yes. Laugh it up, my friend. Laugh it up. Oh, now you're above that. Well, what does this lever do? Let's give it a push and find out, shall we? Oh. Oh. Man seriously did fall down. The underground is a buzz, Mr. Thomas. Very short level. How do you know who I am? Fear. Travels Ooh. fast. Start making some sense. Remembium, the remedy, was supposed to be a myth, a bedtime story. But now, uh, you've made them think otherwise. You can all go to hell. Oh. Wait! Please! Got to be painful. The ideal body, perfectly tuned from birth. Capable of resonating a sound so powerful it can destroy flesh and Sounds good. It's what they fear most. A power greater than theirs. This is Is it, Ethan? Think about it. Are you a member of the Oral? A sick, incestuous organization? No, no, not anymore. But I can tell you. They are on the verge of suffocating this city. What? Let's just say, Big Brother is all grown up and hungry for power. Ooh. Where can I find them? Oh, you, you don't know what you're asking. Oh, you can. All right. Uh, the peninsula. The answers you want. You've been very helpful. Fucked up from here. I love that line. Ah, thanks, buddy. He turned out to be a pretty good chap after all. And of course, we got our gold level. Hmm. So, gold level gives you increased firearm accuracy ammo check speed and maximum damage yes so our guns are now more powerful more accurate i don't know how much more accurate that makes them i think that means you don't need to drink booze anymore which is kind of a good thing considering we've just beaten our alcohol demons I'm talking about alcohol um so pass i guess we're gonna find out uh, and as for checking the ammo speed and stuff like that it's not it's not really a huge thing, but again, finally, one of the more interesting uh, upgrades, I would say. So, apparently, we're some kind of super weapon, or something. The second coming of Jesus, perhaps. Or Jesus. I. Hmm. I guess we're about to find out. Now... I am also wondering, though all those people that have been killed so far, what do they all seem to have in common? Although I'm I'm unsure with the mayor. But are they all defected? Have they all defected from the Oro? 
Van Horn did, for sure. Um, the mayor may have, because she was f rapidly falling in, in approval. Uh, and you would have thought if, if she was a top member, they would have kept her um, on the level. Um, we are definitely an ex-members to some degree. And Farrow. Farrow defected against the uh, the Oro. He, he refused to carry out their um, instructions. So it looks like the four main players so far that have been executed, apart from our fine selves, um, are Oro defects. Rejects? Traitors? Turncoats? We've abandoned them? Hmm. I was thinking about that a minute ago. Hmm. Although, as I said, I'm not sure about the mayor, whether she was or not. It doesn't really go into it. But, like I said, given her downward spiral um, and downward ratings, it makes sense. Huh. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. When we come back, we go to the pen peninsula. Peninsula. Dyslexia. Not alcohol. Dyslexia. Um, and we're going to have a little poke around there. Now, if I remember correctly, this next mission coming up. When I originally played this game, when it first came out, I got stuck on this level. Um, for a long time. Because it's so hard. Um, will it be as hard as I remember? I guess we're going to find out. I somehow doubt it, actually, because I remember this game being really, really, really hard, and it really hasn't been uh, at all, actually. Uh, maybe I was just a better gamer than I was back then. I don't know. I find that hard to believe because I'm pretty shit at the best time. Well, actually, if I'm being honest, I consider myself distinctly average. Um, I wouldn't say I'm rubbish, but I'm certainly not brilliant. But then I consider myself to be pretty much average at everything. You know, I literally, I don't excel at anything. I'm pretty average. Pretty average gamer. The average gamer. Yes, maybe that's what I should have called my, my channel. Huh. Anyway, I, I am uh, rambling now because that, that is because of the alcohol. So, as always, guys, till next time.